Hello all, and here with a summary for our Iron Hearts campaign, a Mass the Next Generation game. So, we opened up where we wrapped up last time with the defeat of the two villains, Fim and Bitegeist, having them arrested, having a short discussion among each other, while other while Dawnbringer went back into the building. In there she went searching for the wings which had been dragged off and found something else possibly consuming it she managed to chase the thing off but it escaped while the others discussed what to do sarandale had returned and was getting to know the new members of the team pan over to a celebration of the nightclub where things were revealed vulnerabilities celebration etc and then the group scattered for a bit going about their own things quinn connected with their mentor uh, getting warning of what was coming, as well as some advice on how to deal with these powerful beings, and being gifted a magical scroll that might come handy later. Vision went to visit Bitegeist in prison, trying to make, get a clearer mind of what's good and evil, but Bitegeist may have made him question some of his resolve. Dombringer took Jason Jacob Jackson on an interdimensional date for lack of a better term showing them what things could be done and then approached the mayor about this unpaid internship at which point the mayor made it very clear that the city doesn't have the money that Dumbringer seems to think they do and finally Sarah and DL returned to the rec center gung-ho and ready to bring it up to a standard base finding a support beam that rot away and all their efforts put into just simply repairing that and feeling very little progress but the hang in there kitty poster now covering the giant hole in the wall seems to be a nice fit and with that they came together getting warning and big by knowing where eclipse was they made their way there finding eclipse's golden bands had already deteriorated slowly desiccating a shack that they were in there they encountered a member of ages known as fade who allowed them to go in. She told them to leave the scene, but they decided to interfere. Crafting a new restraining device, they were able to latch onto Eclipse and stop the deterioration from the building and start carrying her out. It was there that Fade confronted them, asking them to turn over Eclipse, who didn't want to go, leaving an interesting decision on what the group must do. All right, with that all, hope everyone's having fun and has had a great week, and I will see you all Tuesday. Bye for now.